Like this video and subscribe to the channel right now, and get one week of amazing luck. Space is where you don't expect to see something and when you do, chances are it's something you didn't think you'd see. What else do you expect when you leave your own backyard and venture beyond the known? Are these just conspiracy theories at work or actual experiences? From UFOs to strange space music to a knock on the door, there's plenty these astronauts talked about. They're watching us. Everyone knows there are lots of questions about the moon landing. Some believe that it outright did not happen while others believe that it did happen but we did not get the full story. But one of the most mysterious things about the moon landing is Neil Armstrong's actual first words when he landed on the moon. Most people think the first thing he said was one small step for man one giant leap for mankind but NASA claims to have lost transmission for roughly two minutes beforehand. The transmission was beamed to a receiver in Australia and it was then transmitted to US televisions with a delay. In the last two minutes, Neil Armstrong reportedly said something unsettling to NASA he said these babies were huge sir, enormous. Ooh God, you wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you there are other spacecraft out here lined up on the far side of the crater's edge, they're on the moon, watching us. This was not heard by the world as the broadcast was dropped for two minutes and Neil Armstrong never spoke about this ever again. But many sources have confirmed that this was what he said when he first landed on the moon. Do you think astronauts know more than they're allowed to tell us, maybe NASA was hiding something so the public did not get freaked out? UFO Formation Gordon Cooper, a NASA astronaut, provided this scenario. He was the last American astronaut to spend a significant amount of time alone in space, and during that time, he encountered several bizarre and unsettling events. Prior to entering space, he served in the Air Force and observed what he described as a huge armada of UFOs in 1951 while flying with other pilots. He claimed that they were traveling at very high altitudes in formation. When he made his first trip into space in 1963, he was placed in a mercury capsule that would travel around the globe, but when he was flying above Perth, Australia, he noticed a swiftly moving green object. Australian tracking systems also detected this. Strangely, the media were informed that they could not speak with him about this. Some speculate that it might have been a secret military experiment, while others suggested that it might have been a UFO. Music in space. As the Apollo 10 spaceship passed by the dark side of the moon all of the astronauts on board heard something strange. They described it as ethereal music and listening to the transcript of the astronauts and talking about this is very unsettling. Astronauts Thomas Stafford, John Young, and Eugene Cernan heard the music. The transcript went like this. That music sounds out of spacey, doesn't it do you hear that whistling sound? Yes boy, that sure is weird music. We're gonna have to find out that. No one will believe us. That eerie music is really bothering me you, know what I hear it too, who's gonna believe this, nobody. Should we tell other people about it? I don't know I think we ought to think about it some? Based on transcripts it seems the Apollo 11 team also heard this same music but to this day we still don't know what it is and it remains one of the biggest mysteries of space. Asteroids. This one comes from the astronaut Chris Hatfield, someone once asked him what's something that scares you while you're in space. He says sometimes he hears pinging sounds in space and these are tiny asteroids hitting his spacecraft he said the solar panels on the outside of his spacecraft are filled with tiny holes. These are from small meteorites striking them. I don't know about you, but that really scares me. Space snakes. Musgrave mentioned something really odd in the astronaut biography from 1994, claiming to be a prolific astronaut with six space trips under his belt. He is not only a NASA astronaut but also a doctor and mathematician. He is well respected and one of the most well-known figures in the space community but he claimed to have encountered what looked like space snakes on two separate space flights. These snakes, according to him, were significantly larger than a typical terrestrial snake, measuring between 6 and 8 feet in length. He claimed that while in space, the snake followed him for a significant amount of time and that he even made an effort to communicate with it. Others claim that this is proof that extraterrestrial snakes exist in space, while some speculate that it might have been an acute hallucination. Given that he encountered these snakes on two of his six space journeys, it would be a fairly large coincidence if he was experiencing hallucinations. UFO Lights Leroy Chow, a NASA astronaut, served as the International Space Station's commander in 2005. 
While there, he witnessed numerous unusual events. He reported seeing some green lights in an odd line to the Huffington Post. According to him, it resembled an upside-down check mark. Leroy claimed to have seen these lights pass by the International Space Station and thought it was quite weird. A few skeptics have suggested that perhaps these were distant fishing lights on Earth, but Leroy does not believe this and I cannot imagine how it could be the case. You've killed me. This is one of the most haunting things any astronaut has ever said. In 1967 Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov was sent into space, but he did not make it back alive. He knew this was going to happen and said his goodbyes to his family for good before he went into space. The rocket was not ready but the Soviet Union said he had to go into space no matter what. A few moments after he entered space his spacecraft the Soyuz 1 malfunctioned and his final words were picked up by a US listening post. He was screaming and crying in anger but his final words went like this, the heat in my capsule is rising you've killed me. Knocking. This one comes from Lang Yui, the first Chinese astronaut in space, who claimed to have heard an odd and persistent knocking sound one night there. To make matters even creepier, he claimed that someone or something was banging on the outside of the spaceship. He claimed that it sounded like someone banging an iron bucket with a hammer. This exact identical incident has been reported by two other astronauts while they have been in space. What would be causing this to persist? Perhaps there was some sort of life force seeking to enter the spaceship, as evidenced by the knocking sound. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Something shiny on the moon. NASA astronaut Alan Bean claims he saw something shiny on the moon. He described it as shoe leather. While you expect space to be black and devoid of light in places, what was the shiny thing he saw? Could it have been glass? Whatever the reason for what he saw, there's not much of an explanation for this one, 